Well, it appears that once again, I've failed. That is, over my lifetime, I've had these creative endeavors where I've been driven to build something for the sake of creating it. And I can't quite say where the drive comes from, but I have to do it. I have to get something out into the world. And then once it's out there, it really doesn't matter what happens next, but I have to get it created. It's the creation itself that's important. And so I was a musician, say, 30 years ago, and made a couple of albums that were never meant to be heard. Then I created a computer game that ran in a web browser using the virtual reality markup language, or Vermal, and that was never supposed to be played. Then I built an Android app that was a storytelling app, and that was never supposed to be played. And then I wrote a book that wasn't intended to be read, also about storytelling. And now I'm making these videos that were never intended to be seen. However, in each case, even though the publishing itself was the act, sooner or later people came across the stuff and they began using it or viewing it or hearing it. And so I failed. That is, the main audience that I intended to have was my psychophantic self to be able to say, wasn't that a terrific thing that you built? Isn't that important? Doesn't it bring some sort of light into the world? And let that be it. Now, for better or for worse, other people are seeing these things just as other people played the games that I built or read the book that I wrote or heard the music that I made. And so I, once again, am, in that respect, a failure. However, I also have to be glad that people are seeing or hearing or reading these things because perhaps to some degree, it's important out there that this material exists. And so it shouldn't just be created to exist in a vacuum. So thank you for viewing and prior to that for playing or listening. Somehow it's important. I can't quite say how, but I'm glad you're doing it.